The short presentation gives you an overview of a sequential dynamic headspace sampling technique using the multivolatile method for aroma analysis of beverages. The technique was developed by the Gerso company in Japan and was published in the Journal of Chromatography A in 2014. The technique is utilizing an MPS2 XYZ robot combined with a TDU and a dynamic headspace sampling system which is hyphenated with the GCMS instrument. The technique is based on a triple extraction under dynamic headspace conditions of a sample using three different dedicated traps. So the sample will be put under conditions for dynamic headspace purging using a dedicated flow and temperature and each time we will put a dedicated trap on top of the headspace. For example, for the trapping of very volatile analyze we will use a dedicated TDU trap and will be used in a first step. After the headspace sampling we will do a dynamic headspace again with a second trap which is dedicated for the treatment of volatile and semi-volatile compounds and a third tube will be used to trap volatiles, non-volatiles and rather hydrophilic analytes from the same sample. While not specifically mentioned, the conditions for dynamic headspace extraction can be altered in function of the three tubes. So we can first keep the sample rather cold and also augment the temperature in function of the release of semi-volatile compounds. After the dynamic headspace sampling, we will desorb each tube in the TDU. So this will be done in a sequential mode. So first we put the first tube, thermally desorb it, and while keeping the CIS cold, we will also desorb the second and the third tube. This is what we call the TDU multi-desorption mode. This graphic is presenting the recovery in percentage of different compounds that were found back in the brewed coffee extract. While doing the trapping and the desorption of the three different traps separately, you can clearly see the influence of the kind of trap that we are using for the three steps. In this case, you can see that trap one is really dedicated for the trapping of very volatile compounds. But trap 2 and trap T3, they are dedicated for the trapping of rather semi-volatile compounds. When using the multi-volatile approach, we will combine the three traps in one analysis and this will make that we have a better response for all the compounds and a more evenly distributed profile for this brewed coffee extraction. Both the hardware and the methodology is available from the Gerstle distributor Recrom. You can find us back on www.recrom.com or you can contact us at info at recrom.com.